Well, like I said, uh, we were wanting to uh, meet with the executive group and uh, to learn more about what you do, but uh, to also uh, uh, let you know kind of what, what we're hoping, uh, uh, what we're expecting, and what, uh, and I think we need to touch base on uh, certainly uh, what's coming down from national, uh, because there are some some very very big changes coming, and these changes are going to to definitely affect all of us in the way we do our job. So uh, that's that's kind of the purpose of our call tonight. Uh, of course, we're uh, uh, as as I announced at our uh, May uh, state call that coming up uh, June 28th on our June call we we plan on devoting a great deal of time in that call to the executive group uh, and on that call of course we'll have region captains and district captains involved but for right now it's just us so um, I want to go ahead and get started here just a quick Quick review, here's our uh, goals that we have set for the state, and that's to uh, grow the grassroots, to strengthen our legislator relationships, and to educate, educate, educate. So those are basically our goals. Now, we're, uh, we're going to expand upon those very soon. Uh, we're, we're working on uh, developing a vision statement for the for the state, and uh, and expand some more on these goals and strategies. So, but basically, those those are the goals that we're trying to achieve in the state. I don't know uh, if all of you have seen this before. Has everybody seen this map? Yep. Yes. Everybody has seen it. You, you, you understand that we've uh, divided the state into nine regions, and uh, those regions are, for the most as close as possible, they mirror the uh, congressional nine congressional districts in the state of Indiana. So uh, those are uh, the regions that we have right now. Now we only have. Uh, four region captains established right now, so we're uh, of course looking for uh, additional region captains to uh, fill all the regions. And I might I might mention that uh, all the districts here, this to the right, of course, will be the district breakdown in each region. And uh, David and I and the region captains are going through. Uh, all the districts contacting district captains to uh, see if they are still uh, motivated, still uh, willing to continue their their role as a district captain, and uh, and to make sure that they're still on board with us. Dale. And, yes. Uh, David? You might while you're doing that. This is Jerry. Oh yeah, Jerry. You might while you're doing that. Uh, Tell them that the, the new software is coming and some other things that will make their job easier. Well, uh, that's a good point. But uh, you know to what, what we're finding, Jerry, is uh, uh, we're finding quite a few that uh, just, well, they either don't respond to us at all or they or things in their life have changed and you know their priorities have changed yeah. uh, and and they they just don't want to spend don't want to devote more time to us uh, they still support what we're trying to do but uh, so that's kind of what we're running into uh, and and you know and that's okay uh, uh, it's better to find out now you know who's who's on board and who isn't, but uh, I haven't come across anyone as yet uh, complaining about uh, how difficult the job is. So, uh, hey, but, hey, but Dale, talk, David, I finally got on here. 
Well, good. <laughs> Were you able to hear us at all, David? Well, no. At, at the uh, right at eight o'clock, I was on the phone with uh, Robert Beecher, the uh, district captain up in District Twenty Seven. Oh. And so my uh, my landline, which I which that's how I was talking to him. It's I got voice over the internet protocol. <laughs> So apparently I can't talk on the phone and listen to a presentation at the same time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, All right. Sorry. Well, can you see the screen? I can. Yeah, I've been I've been watching, but I, okay. I just couldn't I just couldn't get voice uh, audio. Okay. Well, we've just uh, I've just been kind of catching up on a few things here. Uh, okay. Just uh, make sure everyone's uh, with us on this. All right. So. Um, this is how we see the uh, organizational chart for the for the state. And as you see here on the left, of course, there's David and I. Uh, but on the left, you hear you see the region captains, which uh, we we consider that as the operations committee. And these are the four region captains that are in place right now. Peter Youngsman in Region 1, Paul Phillips in Region 3, John Ackerman in Region 5, and Bob Hall in Region 9. Uh, so these other regions, as you can see, are are open. Then over on the, the group that we call the Executive Committee, which would be you folks, uh, and, and correct me if anyone knows, uh, these are the names that I'm aware of. The Coalition's Director is Peter Youngsma. Uh, Veterans Coalition Director, uh, new gentleman, Paul Cruzan, who's on the phone, who's on the call with us tonight. Uh, Digital Marketing Director, we do not have one in that role. We do need one, though. What would you say? Uh, this is Jerry. We do need one. Actually, I've been filling in some for that kind of thing. Right. Uh, right. I, I arranged the uh, meeting in Fort Wayne, or the, the Tom Coburn thing in Fort Wayne on Monday, uh, along with uh, Paul Phillips helped out on that. It, okay. He was the direct contact there. But, uh, yes, we're going we're gonna to talk about this position a little bit more later on, but that's going to become a very important position, uh, as you'll see. But our legislative liaison is uh, John Durth, uh, grassroots coordinator George Ward, uh, media liaison uh, Jeff Kilgren, state videographer Ken Kashiba, and we have, we are blessed <laughs> to have two SIAs uh, Jerry Rowe and, and uh, Tim uh, Heidenreich. So, did I miss anyone? Mm, that's what I'm aware of. Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, see this red line between the two? That's what we're trying to get at. Um, and I even got a whole slide developed to it. How do we get you, that's the executive group, working with them, the region captains and district captains, and them working with you? So that is the challenge that we uh, see, and I, and I think uh, we, we, we're going to have to do this. Uh, because it's going to become imp uh, it's going to become imperative that this uh, that the two groups work together. Um, uh, anyone have any any thoughts or comments regarding that? Well, I have a rumor that the region one director and the coalitions director are getting along just fine. <laughs> Go back and see who that is. Oh, yeah, I see who it's. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. true. 
Uh, well, as long as they talk to one another in the mirror, I guess we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, uh, Dale, uh, as far as uh, getting the two uh, groups there to work with the get together, um, I don't have an answer for that one yet, but I'll, uh, I do have maybe a digital marketing director to throw out to the group here. Oh, oh I like really? that. And that was the fellow that I was just talking to. Is is uh, he's a young guy? He's a Purdue student, and his name's Robert Beecher. Uh, he's uh, he's already on Slack. He's on uh, the Indiana team. He's on the uh, nation uh, district captain team. Uh, he says he's pretty comfortable with Slack. He, he sounded like a pretty uh, enthusiastic kid. He was he was just curious. Uh, you know where, uh, and what our goals are going forward, and he's still interested in being a district captain. But then he was also wanting him to get a little more information on the digital marketing director. Uh, sure. But now I, I, I'm not quite sure how old he is. He sounds he sounds pretty young. He's uh, <clears throat> he's got some kind of uh, uh, summer camp where he's a uh, Going up to Michigan or Wisconsin to be a, you know, like a counselor, I believe, is what he was talking about. And who's this talking? This is David Waters. Oh, okay, sure. And uh, so the uh, that might be a name to put out there. Um, and I was wondering if maybe Jerry or Tim may want to give him a call and and mm-hmm. kind of. Um, see, see where he's at and how savvy he is with uh, with uh, all the digital marketing. Platforms. Yeah, I could yeah. probably talk to him uh, in the area of it's kind of the same area in a way. COS comms communications. You've got uh, your digital marketing guy, like he could be maybe. Media liaisons, so that's working with uh, the newspapers, the radio stations, and all that, and state videographers. Facebook all fall right. under that, uh, yeah, yeah, oh, under that umbrella. I thought we had a state videographer come to think of it. Yep, that's we, me. I'm here. We he's on the line here, Ken Kashiba. Okay. Uh, okay. That, the comms team is a, a concept that I wanted to uh, get into. Uh, uh, Jerry, because uh, that's that's a hot topic uh, right now. Um, yeah. The, and I'm and not that, really... dig, that digital marketing coordinator, you know, the way it's been explained to us, that's that's kind of the producer or the uh, team leader of that comms team. Uh, Ken, you've probably heard some conversations on this, haven't you? Yes, I have. Um, uh, you know, uh, from the videography videography side of things, um, you know, obviously uh, the state being uh, already resolute, we, um, you know, I kind of kind of uh, been looking to uh, get on board with some of the things that uh, some of the other states are doing to try and keep the momentum going here in Indiana and also be able to uh, do things within the state of Indiana to help other states uh, who are either coming on or uh, who have recently passed that are uh, looking to uh, uh, go forward. So some of the things that we've talked about from the videography side of things, um, which we're trying to um, to uh, get, get going um, nationwide basically, uh, there's a couple of things that that, uh, that we've been discussing recent, recently, which would obviously uh, help us to communicate with the uh, with the regions as well as the uh, district captains. Um, one of those things is what they're calling a call to action video, and um, that's uh, that's something that we're looking to uh, to do. I think it's it kind of falls in line with this this five for five and. And what we're look, what, the way we're kind of a, trying to describe it is a uh, a man on the street idea, where basically we we get a hold of a uh, a district captain or a region captain 
to go along with us um, to interview. Um, and that could be basically anybody who uh, who's on the street that uh, be a farmer or a um, you know, a, a businessman. It doesn't really matter. What, you know, uh, the different different uh, different occupations of life that uh, that are here within the state, uh, and basically have the uh, you know be able to, to produce videos, a short video where um, the DC or the RC would basically um, have a a uh, a list of sample questions, which um, we basically would would uh, be interviewing the person on the street with. Um, Hopefully, with a uh, with the the, the the reason for um, getting the person to give his opinion of that, and, and obviously either uh, uh, give us the give us a you know an agreement at the end where we would basically be able to, to give him a COS pitch at the end and, and have him you know uh, sign on or you know give his support, but basically give his opinion on what we're doing. Um, so that was one idea that we're we're looking for. We're also looking for what we call, what we were kind of terming as uh, as um, cub reporters, and that would be basically anybody, anybody who's got a cell phone, um, you know, will volunteer, D uh, DC, RC, whatever it is, uh, if they if they have uh, can, can give themselves a you know maybe either, either it's, it can be a, a short a short minute or two uh, of of their own testimony as to why they got involved, uh, or uh, if they if they are at an event. That they can uh, give us some uh, some some um, some footage uh, that would basically be be filtered back through me uh, to be able to edit and pass on to Garrett uh, uh, for either nationwide use or, or within the state usage. Um, so that was another thing that we were looking to to do to try and get some involvement uh, throughout the throughout the state on. Um, and then one of the other things we were talking about, or has, has already been done, is is um, is basically started with the with the district captains, and that was uh, basically just so so a district captain, or at this point a region captain, can put their face uh, to their to their to their district or to their region by doing by giving us a short a short little little segue as to why they got involved, or or uh, you know some of the things that that they're, that's happening within their region. Uh, so the same thing. Just, just uh, if you got a, if you got a smartphone, um, and, and we're we're here to help, you know, with some training on that or some some points, uh, overview points, so that uh, people can can give us uh, a little bit of uh, footage, and we can kind of put it all together and and use it to uh, to work within the state and also nationwide. So those are a few of the things that that we've been discussing uh, as videographers as to how we can become more involved and and uh, share some of the uh, share some of the experiences because obviously we can't be everywhere, but uh, uh, we'd like to be able to um, get some of this footage from different events and different places, whereby um, we can use that uh, in, in, you know, in, in the strength of video, which we recognize as, you know, being being uh, crucial with a lot of what we're doing. Okay, a couple things here, uh, Ken. Uh, uh, now, in, in your particular area, uh, is it a pretty common uh, thought that? There uh, could be multiple videographers in a given state. Sure, uh, I think we have the, we have those in a few states. I think there's a couple of them. Um, okay. So yeah, there's if we if we had a, we had other people that wanted to become videographers. Uh, sure, we. Uh, I mean, it sure seems to me uh, that that would be uh, uh, a smart thing to do if if we could find people like that. So. Right. Well, some people are scared away. They think they have to have professional equipment, and it's not. I mean, it 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 helps to have a few guys like that, like like myself, and a few other people on that have, you know, some some equipment to do what we need to do, and and also do the editing and what have you. Uh, Garrett's been handling most of the editing work, but he he's even taken on some more responsibilities. So uh, some of us are going to be doing some more, are going to be asked to do more some more editing work. But um, uh, basically, uh, if if we follow just some some basic some basic uh, you know, photographic rules, um, which, which again, we're the, the, the videography team is is looking to to be able to help with that. Um, it, it, all it takes is a smartphone and 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 the opportunity to be wherever you're at to to get an interview or get a to take a take some even if it's just B-roll footage of, of of an event. Uh, we can always use all that all we can get. So, but to answer your question, yeah, I mean, if we got a guy who you know who uh, who has experience and wants to wants to be a videographer, yeah, we, we take them take as many as we can get because they're just you know, it's a big state. 
would there be um, would there be pointers uh, or some instruction perhaps that you could give to us amateurs uh, like in a uh, video uh, a webinar type uh, uh, setting is that something that uh, would there be some things that we could do in that way to you know pass on those uh, tips that you're talking about Sure. Yeah, I think uh, we 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 haven't uh, pinpointed all of that. I think it's come up in a couple of discussions on our on our uh, videographer uh, meetings that we've had that uh, uh, you know we want to be able to make ourselves available for for any type of training. So yeah, like a webinar or or maybe like I said, a couple of training type videos. I, I'll mention that to to Garrett. Maybe we could start putting together some real short videos to kind of that can help people. Because I uh, when I was region captain, I I. Uh would do uh, I would just use free uh, free conference call dot com mm -hmm. the program the app we're using here and just you know have a meeting with myself and uh, record it and just as a instructional piece sure uh, so uh, it it could easily be done but yeah great idea and like I said I think we we could we could easily uh, start start doing some of that to uh, yeah. Uh, as we've talked about getting more of these, you know, some of these ideas with the, you know, the, the cub reporter and and just even even DCs doing their own little uh, little in, little uh, little introduction type videos. Um, yeah, we we could we could look into that for yeah. sure. Does anyone have any questions for Ken? Because I want to kind of back up into something here. Um, is, this is this is uh, uh, this comms team. Uh, which would include a webmaster. I, I guess Jerry, are you the webmaster? Yep, I am. Okay. Need to do more on it, but we, um, I'm thinking about you doing some more with the Facebook page too. Okay. So I do, I, mean, I do that also, but mostly I just scan for people uh, making comments uh, and once in a while post. But do we we I need do we need to be looking more. for people to fill those? Uh, uh, I mean, you can't do everything. <laughs> can't do everything, but it's less demand. I think we need like the, um, you know, the um, comms team filled out first. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. You know, we, we need somebody to contact the newspapers and the radios and get all the interviews set up and and all that's uh, publicly more visible. You know. Well, and that's. Uh, we have a media liaison, Jeff, but again, he's just one person. Um, yeah, that's so that's a, you need more. You need more. Yeah, that's a, that's another job that uh, I could see, uh, perhaps one in every region, possibly. But uh, and the social media warrior team leader, uh, you're involved in that too, aren't you, Jerry? Yes, yes, I am, <laughs> and uh, and we need. Tom's <laughs> wrapped up in the one guy, right? Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah except, <laughs> well, except I'm also <laughs> also on some other stuff, COS Wiki and the COS University and the SIA team, and you know, you just can't do it all. So I'm looking yeah. for help. You know. <laughs> How do we find help? How do we find help? Well, I think one way you do it, like a social media, there are people that have applied to do social media help and and I don't think they've all been interviewed yet okay. but let's say they haven't go down the list and and ask them if they want to help with this thing or that thing or the other thing you know okay. and all including right. the ones that are social media already both the applicants and the social media go through the whole list and see if they'd like to volunteer for more okay all so right I got, just got a fundamental question here probably a silly one a webmaster uh, mm -hmm. With with Citizen Builder coming out, what is that? What the webmaster would be mastering the Citizen Builder uh, were, Indiana or what? What what's what happens now is the state has its own page on COS Action, right? The blog page, right? Okay. Right. Well, and the rest of it too. There's more that can be done there, but. Uh, not a lot more because you're kind of restricted. But on the new system, you'll be what we'll be doing is, and each region can maybe do some of their own if they had somebody competent for it. But you know, put in meetings and uh, training things coming up, and 
uh, post little things about happenings in your area, you know, like a, a state legislators meeting somewhere, and then you're going to go meet with him. Car shows, hey, car shows, you know. Right. Uh, how about right. county fairs that you're going to put up some booth at, and we should be doing that. And in fact, I find out here in Lafayette that the Tea Party, which is probably a pro, uh, some of it anyway, is pro leading towards John Birch Society and that Tenth Amendment stuff and all that. Yeah, they're pretty ineffective. They're not even going to have a booth at the county fair. They're not having another meeting until August. Really? <laughs> <laughs> they're, skip, they're skipping over the gun show in town yeah. in Lafayette and, and the fair. So there's two big draws, and they're doing nothing. That's why the Convention of States is much more powerful than the Tea Party is. Mm -hmm. Well, I wanted I wanted to uh, uh, kind of back up into the, the Citizens Builder because, uh, Ken, what you you know what you were talking about was the videographers and and the videos that you were talking about doing um, with Citizens Builder. Well, Ken, in your in your national columns have, have has there been any discussion about Citizens Builder? Uh, we haven't really got into any depth on the Citizens Builder uh, okay. at this point, no. But it's it's from what we understand. And, and by the way, now I sent a I sent a link out to everyone of a uh, of a presentation that was made to the state directors, and it's been made to other other groups too, but. A presentation that was made to state directors last week on the new system, and uh, if you haven't seen that, I, I would urge you to see it because it's going to affect all of us, and it's right. going to affect the way we do our jobs. And and Ken, you were talking about the videos that you were doing. Well, we will be able to target uh, districts. In this new system, and and those those videos, you know, we could it, those target districts is where we would want you to do those videos. It would seem to me, or at least it would be a high priority. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, that sounds great. And uh, and from what I understand, I mean, that's it's going to be. Uh, uh, it's going to be so great. I, I just sounds it's going to be a learning curve. There's no doubt about that. It's going to be a learning curve. But uh, this comms team is very important. Apparently, very important. Uh, that's not to say that the other positions aren't uh, important too. But uh, matter of fact, I want to back up here to. I want to uh, touch on our veterans coalition director, Paul. Um, Paul, have have I wanted to ask you? Have you uh, have have you done anything, uh, any educational things like uh, um, um, uh, studying Article Five or learning anything more about some of the basic things about Convention of States? Yeah, I've been reading uh, Smashing and DC Monopoly, just started have Liberty you? Amendments by. Mark Levin, right, and um, yeah, so I'm studying a lot of that stuff right now. So, okay, okay, yeah. good, good, um, and I've got some more things to recommend to you. Okay, because because you're a perfect example of of I think bringing on a new person in a job like this. Yeah, um, everybody in this executive group, every region captain, every district captain, needs to have a basic understanding of what we're all about and definitely a good basic educational understanding of what article 5 is all about and uh, uh, and what we're trying to achieve and what a convention of states really is uh, and so forth and so on so uh, Ken have, have you have you looked at any of that material are you talking about the um the uh, are you talking about some of the, some of the materials for for Article Five? Or are you talking about uh, uh, Article Five? Article, Article Five and uh, uh, 
like in a, a COS university, Convention of State University, any of those? Yes, I've done I've done some of the university uh, 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 courses, and uh, of course, uh, done a little bit of reading myself on some of the. Uh, you know, I, I haven't done the um, uh, the latest book from um, uh, Senator Colvin at all yet, but uh, I'm I, I'm about ready to head to order the uh, the uh, uh, the governor's book. Was it uh, Tom Tom's Tom book. Colbert's book? Yeah. Colbert's book. Yeah. Well, uh, now, uh, the uh, governor's book, uh, kind of a shorter synopsis of it, is his uh, public, publicly available documents, about 100 pages long, and that's on the COS Wiki free. So you can read that on your phone. That's good to know. Thank you. Yeah, it's right on the front page linked, uh, wiki.conventionofstates.com. Okay. Is that yeah. Well, with this new citizens builder, is it going to be possible to have all of that, all these wikis and and uh, linked? On, so I just go one spot. If I want to look at the link wiki, I'll be able to click a link and bada bing, bada boom, right. there I am. Yeah, that that's the uh, plan. How we're going to accomplish some of that, we're not sure yet. The objective is just to get citizen builder up first, and then add on the. Uh, Frills. <laughs> now, Bells and whistles. Uh, Jerry, the wiki page that you've developed is that is that just for the state of Indiana? No, that's for the, the whole country. Okay. Okay. Anybody can get to it. John Birch Society can get to it. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh yeah. Anybody. Well, maybe maybe John Birch should go there and read it, and they. Uh, <laughs> <can't work>. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I've sent them links from it. <laughs> well, it. it uh, I was looking at the uh, Virginia Wiki page. Have you ever mm-hmm. looked at that one, Jerry? Oh yeah, I've looked at that some time ago, and what I'd like to do is. Well, see, it's both state and things that are not state. And so I'd like to say in the new system, we put the stuff that applies to everybody up there for everybody, and the stuff that state would just stay for Virginia, which is what it's for right now, really, anyway. And so then could, each each state could have its own something like that. See, that's, that's, what, that's what I would like to see is uh, so, so it would be if we had one for Indiana, it would be a place where we could – uh, control access to it for only the ones in Indiana to go to yeah. for information, right? So how the new Citizens Builder would work, is going to work for sure, is when you log on, it sees that you're from Indiana, you're from district, blah, blah, and it will present you with stuff pertaining to your location and state. So the wiki uh, that gets melded into this thing could work that way somehow also. Okay. I think I can see ways that it could be made to work that way. Yeah. Anyway. And cool. so um I've it'd be all it. all melted together, you know. This this system's <laughs> it just sounds like a, a, it's amazing to me. Uh, um, yeah, there's nothing like it. I have a question. This is Paul. hey this is Paul, I have a question. Yeah. So Paul. is it Citizen Builder is it is it um, like is it something that's cloud based where it's a training site or is it also a, a tool that you use to market um, to potential people to get the word out it, or is it both or all those things or it's everything uh, right now we're using a program called Nation Builder okay and we we lease that you know it's paid for monthly or whatever it is and it's really designed to support. Uh, political campaigns and uh, things like tea parties and stuff. It's not really designed for what we're doing. We kind of like got to use a big shoehorn to make it fit. And the sh- and the foot still hurts because it doesn't do what it's supposed to. <laughs> Amen to that, brother. <laughs> so but what Citizen Builder does is we just go get the right shoe to begin with. <laughs> we throw away that old shoe that don't fit. And if there's some part of the shoe that's not working right, well, we just get in there with some needle and thread and whatever and 
make it work, you know. So it's customizable, you know. It, it's customizable. It's all our own software. Okay. Yeah, and a couple of questions I just had. Um, sure. Facebook. I I have a business, a pharmacy, so I I use Facebook a lot, almost exclusively mm-hmm. for my advertising. Now it's very effective. You can target it. You can do it by regional. You can do it geographically yeah. to target different demographics. And so, have are you guys doing like Facebook ads at all, or are they doing them nationally? Or um, uh, they do them nationally, and uh, we've talked about we've had uh, online training on how to do some of that, uh, how to do the targeting and things like that. Yeah, it's really. But, you know, I, I mean, yeah, on Facebook, it's, yeah. it's not hard at all. Yeah. So could uh, Paul? Would you like to do uh, the Facebook editor job too? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I could. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I. Yeah, I could. <laughs> yeah, I could. Yes. <laughs> yes, you could. In your spare time, Paul. In your spare time. Yeah, yeah, but it really, I can't tell you. Like, there's fa- on Facebook, you go into like Avon Chatter and Brownsburg Chatter, and there's Avon site. There's fifteen thousand people on that site, and you just post a comment. You know, you can. It's free. And people hit right. or they don't. They ask questions or they don't. I mean, you know. Wow. It's well, cool. you can uh, you can make posts and target them to specific groups like veterans who have yeah. antique cars and, and uh, ride bicycles or something. Right. Exactly. <laughs> veterans groups in Indiana, all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Well, hey Jerry, this is David here. The how how will conventionestates dot com uh, work? With Citizens Builder, I mean, the CO- okay. How see what's actually going to go away? Conventionofstates dot com and cosaction dot com are both features of Nation Builder. It's built into Nation Builder. Okay. Okay. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh yeah, it's all the, it's all the same big program. So mm-hmm. Citizens Builder will be the same way, and is already, but I mean, it's just not ready yet. So all those sites and the, the whatever's done for a state page, it won't be quite the same. Be the same for states, but the national page, it's all going to be done through Citizen Builder. Okay. And where will your meeting set up? Where will What's that, that? LMA, where will that LMS that uh, legislative management system fit? That in? will become part of Citizen Builder, as will a LAPD and. So anything else you're using, tools like that, follow-up tool, that's all going to be part of Citizen Builder. COS University? Uh, that'll still be separate because it's kind of a unique thing. But what we're, what's going to be done is when you log into Citizen Builder, you get access to all those things. Okay. One login. All right. Is and there a – uh, I'm sorry. Jerry, is there We a, can do uh, that with uh, Wiki, too. Um, we can get one login for that. I, I have a to question. That. This is Ken. Uh, I was wondering, is there a projected date for that uh, citizen builder at this point? Uh, the initial, without all the frills and everything, will be middle of July because that's when the nation builder contract comes due for renewal, and we don't want to renew. Gotcha. Except maybe as a background backup thing not actively used, you know. Makes sense. So middle All of right. July, we'll have something going. Okay. Uh, just some other issues that I just kind of wanted to touch on. I think we've 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 touched on some uh, some main ones, but um, is everyone uh, uh, in the executive group? Are you? Are all of you? Uh, uh, participating in the national calls for your groups, um, I think. I think every, uh, every day. <laughs> yeah, and I know. I know, Ken, you are. Yeah, I uh, get on them when I can. I miss a few here and there, but uh, sometimes they overlap with other thing with other calls. But uh, just uh, just remember to always register, so you'll get the recording. You should get the recording of the. Uh, Right of the call, so always register. Now, Paul, are you setting in on any of these national calls? Yeah, so that was a question I had because I registered for a couple of them and I missed them. But did they send you back a recording? I assume they did. Right, yes, yes, they're okay. supposed to. 
Okay. And you could use the you can use the same link that you got to re- register for the okay. recording to get to the recording rather the meeting oh, and the okay. recording same link. So right. Jerry, that that doesn't necessarily it doesn't appear to work all the time. Um, it, it might not, but if there's something you can't get to, let me know and I'll get you there. Okay. Okay. All right. Of course, it may not. Sometimes they don't get it recorded if you get to hit the button, you know. <laughs> That's, well, that was the thing. The guy out in Arizona, the, I think he's the SIA out there, Michael something. Alexander. Yeah. 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 That's, that's what he said. He goes, well, because I, I was on the uh, the COS district cap or uh, state director channel or uh, team and put a question out there like that, and he says, well, uh, they may not have hit the record button. Yeah. Yeah. I know they yeah. forgot to hit one this week sometime. Uh, I don't forget which one it was, but, you know, if you forget, you just can't go back and do it. So. Now, uh, Paul, I would I would uh, uh, say that you need to set in on the coalition's director calls. Okay. Is that what you're doing? Uh, I'm or not even tr- sure which one it was. Yeah, I'll okay. go back and look and see, yeah. Yeah, I would. That was uh, yesterday. Yeah. Is that the right one for him to set in on? I, I would. I would think so. Uh, what positions he have? I forget. Veterans Coalition Director. Yeah, that that would be the right one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I don't. We we don't have a a, a Veterans uh, Coalition Director call. Okay. But, uh, so I'm rolling you into the Coalition's Director call. Gotcha. Okay. okay. But there is a there is a veterans slack. Okay. And you should be on that. Are you on that one? No, I'll I'll look that up. Get on it. So. Uh, yeah, that's that's, a, that's another thing. Uh, we were kind of tr- trying to bring Paul along slowly here, <laughs> not uh, overloading. But is everybody mm-hmm. on Slack? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Paul, are you on Slack yet? Yes, I think I went on there. There's just tons of information on there, right? Yes, there are, there is. Yeah, that's good. And I looked at a lot of it. We're uh, one of our region captains, Paul. Uh, Paul, uh, Peter Youngsma, uh, has agreed to uh, do some uh, educational webinars for us on Slack because uh, he he loves it <laughs> and. Uh, He's offered to do that, so uh, I'm taking him up on that. Uh, so stay tuned. We'll we'll get some educational webinars going from him to help us because uh, uh, they're really, really pushing Slack, and uh, uh, I think I think we're going to get to the point. In in some respects, we're already there, but I think we're going to get to the point where. Uh, uh, we won't be getting emails any longer. It'll all be through Slack. So, mm-hmm. uh, do you think so, Jerry? Yeah, if, you're, if you're dealing with uh, new people that aren't volunteers yet and that kind of thing, yeah. you're still going to have emails going on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. But I think as far as uh, uh, the others and, and certainly with National, I think you're going to have to... Uh, you're going to have to use Slack. So it's something you you need to grasp and yeah. uh, and get a hold of it. Um, and right now, for instance, right now you're dealing with a free conference call and you're sending out the invitations from it maybe, or you can from uh, GoToWebinar, I know, and that doesn't interface with Slack, so you're still sending out emails. Yes, that's true. That's true. There are, the emails are still going to happen. They just won't be as frequent. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, some other issues. Uh, of course, we don't have our legislative liaison on here uh, this evening, but uh, and I was hoping he would be on. But uh, uh, one of the things that, that we're being urged to do is to develop a state uh, legislative strategy, and uh, and basically that's you know targeting those districts that uh, where we don't have support legislatively, uh, 
so that we can uh, 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 focus on those districts. Uh, we also, this is a, a hot topic for uh, uh, that David uh, has has uh, seized upon, and that's uh, a strike team. Uh, in case there's a uh, in case there's an effort to rescind in the state house, and and so we're going to need some people that can readily uh, respond to that uh, by by appearing at the state house. Um, yeah, so that, those, that, that that is a I think is a really important. Uh, it sounded that down in Tennessee. From what I observed, that that was a they had a number of people that were able to get down into the state house when that senator um, offered that resolution to rescind. Right, right, right. And that that is definitely, a, as you all know, we are a past state, and uh, so we've got to be. On the alert, on the uh, on the watch for any efforts at uh, uh, rescinding the resolution that we've passed. Um, target districts, we've already talked about those. Coalitions survey. I was hoping Peter would be on the call this evening, uh, but uh, they are forming uh, some uh, surveys to identify various uh, the various coalitions that we might have in our state um, so there there should be you'll be seeing some things coming out on that uh, again that's all uh, ammunition that you can use in approaching uh, uh, representatives and, and legislators in the state uh, education director this is something David and I talked about um, I think this is somebody we need, another position we need on the executive team. Uh, and this would be the, a person that would uh, monitor the education process for uh, new people, new district captains, new, uh, uh, new executive group people uh, like Paul. Some, somebody's making some noise there. Um, so what do you think of that idea of an education director? Sounds great. I like it. All right. Um, uh, I will note that California has made several uh, additional positions that aren't, you know, national, let's say, in, in uh, suggestion. Right. But uh, they made things to fit their situation out there. We can do the same. Education director is a great idea, and they could also take care of maybe trying to get people to give um, training or education or whatever in schools. Yes, that yeah. would be. That's that's one I've uh, always thought about doing. Yes. Let's, let's get that, you know, and get get people trained in the right thing before they get screwed up by John Birch Society or something. Right. <laughs> But Jerry's right. We, we're, we're being encouraged, actually, to don't hesitate to create uh, positions that you uh, deem necessary, and um, and that's and that goes not only for the executive group, but that goes for uh, region captains, district captains, uh, co-district captains, assistant district captains. However. Uh, uh, positions uh, even within the districts uh, as it would be necessary so we're being encouraged to feel free to do that so uh, we, we, uh, we should remain certainly open to that well that's about that's all I had uh, for tonight that's all we had unless anyone's got any other comments or uh, observations or suggestions I, well, I, only I, got, oh, go ahead. <laughs> I, I got one thing that was mentioned in one of our last meetings, videographers. This is Ken. Um, mm -hmm. Something about, and I don't know whether you know, are we are we doing anything about a uh, uh, a gun owners um, uh, convention of state um, group? I know with the veterans, and everything, coalition. Got, 
Co- a coalition, yeah. Uh, are we um, are we are we are we looking at that in any way? We should be. I, I think that's yeah. uh, I think that's part of the coalition's uh, survey that they're doing. Okay. Okay. Where they're uh, mm-hmm. yeah. The, the the survey though I believe is will just tell us if we have supporters. In 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 our in our uh, uh, in the people in the state of Indiana that are gun owners, mm-hmm. uh, I, I don't I don't think that's taking it any further as far as for, were you talking about actually forming a group of some type? Well, it was just it was a the the group was mentioned as as one that uh, that that obviously would tend to uh, to be very right. supportive, right. and I think it was it was brought up in our videography meeting because a few guys were. Planning on attending a couple of the gun shows, um, right? <laughs> you know, to, to do some right. videoing and, and what have you. So it was just brought up there. I was just wondering if there was anything that had already been started here in Indiana, or whether that was something that was uh, started. Well, the the survey and some other things being done is to find out what kind of groups are out there, and then if we are right, already don't have somebody in those groups as a foothold, a st- you know, a foot in the door or whatever into those groups and start um, educating them, then get somebody in those groups and target email towards them and, and uh, any kind of communications like gun shows and car shows. I think we're already doing car shows some places, um, northeast Indiana, I think. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> now, and, and, and Jerry, will Citizens Builder make that a, a, a bit easier to do? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Well, what it's going to do is make it easier for you to set up meetings and uh, uh, training events and all that kind of stuff, which is kind of hard to do in Nation Builder, really. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be, I think, pretty much a piece of cake. And what we'll want to do is have each region uh, providing information, putting it in Nation Builder, and having it show up. So when somebody logs on from that that uh, region, that district, or whatever, they're going to see what you put in for that same area. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, the, Citizens Builder is going to be a <laughs> uh, it's going to be a shock, I believe, uh, at first, and uh, uh, I'm 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 preparing myself for it. Quite honestly, uh, uh, there's going to be a learning curve involved here. But uh, yeah, to me, it's going to be like uh, okay, it's a shock because you've been eating salad without salad dressing, and all of a sudden you're getting chocolate ice cream. <laughs> okay, it's a shock, but I like it. Hey, go for it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I All right, try ice cream on top of my salad next time. Yeah, I've never had. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I just want to throw something out there. I don't think I hadn't heard that uh, uh, Paul Phillips was on or Peter Youngsman was on the phone call tonight, but um, in USA Today on Monday when the uh, uh, Jim DeMint news hit the paper, uh, I noticed that the the, the writer, the uh, reporter, uh, who got, got it wrong in the article about, oh, this is a constitutional convention, well, a number of people from convention of states around the country uh, popped on to the comment section of that article and uh and then of course yeah. you had a bunch of nattering nabobs you know piping off popping off but i saw peter uh and paul both were on there uh from indiana they identified themselves in their position with convention of states and i oh really yeah so i just wanted to i don't know if any of you guys saw that uh online is where i was reading all the comments associated with that yeah. usa mm-hmm. i did uh I did see that, but I found out from somebody else that the same article was on uh, um, the USA Today Facebook page. So I went there and hammered it good oh. until they <laughs> until they just wouldn't let me comment anymore. And I think it's because they just shut down comments. Actually, <laughs> wow. yeah. well, I uh, I commented on on this uh, uh, last night on the DC call. Uh, I saw Jim, De- Jim DeMint was interviewed by Stuart Varney on Fox. Oh. Mm-hmm. And 
And Stuart Varney uh, used the term constitutional convention, and Jim called him on it. Uh, hey. so I was very impressed. I, I, I heard uh, actually two interviews, uh, I think it was yesterday, uh, Jim DeMint interviews, one on radio and one on television, and uh, he seemed very well versed. Uh, and what we're all about, and Article Five, and uh, so I think he's I think he's going to be a very good representative for us. By the way, yes, uh, in some Slack somewhere, uh, I'm pretty sure it was in Slack. The comment or the question came up. Of course, it could have been on a call I was on, but anyway, the question came up. Uh, basically, why did Jim Dement leave Heritage and come to Manchester? And that apparently he's going to be on the battle cry call, explaining that. Oh really? Oh, oh really? That's well, what I heard. Did you know we uh, the interview we did with Jackie Peterson uh, this last yeah. Monday night? I don't know if you've uh, listened to the recording yet. I've been through part of it. I did ask her that question. Uh, oh, maybe why, that's where it was why he left and uh i don't i don't know if she knows the full reason but uh basically she said she didn't she thought that uh he wanted to do more um more conservative things and they didn't want to do those things so that's yeah <laughs> along that same line the comment was made by somebody somewhere another comment was that uh, the uh, Heritage Foundation is a think tank. Right. And, and they think, but they don't do. <laughs> I, she said that too, I think, yes. <laughs> she All may have right. said that. <laughs> she says that to all the boys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay, any, anyone have any other comments? All right. Well, we'll... Uh, like I said, uh, on June 28th on our state call, we'll try and focus on this a little bit more. But uh, uh, I think we got some good feedback tonight. Uh, so that's uh, that's all we have for tonight. And uh, thank you all for participating. And uh, keep up the good work. Thanks, Dale. We'll see you. Thanks. Thanks. See you guys later. Bye. Yeah.